from uh, Santa Isabel. We have been on the Rio Negro for a week on the wonderful Sultana. It's like a floating spa, five star hotel, hotel, five star hotel. Every convenience and attention to detail has been fabulous. Uh, everything was perfect here. The attention from all the staff, from the bartender to the food, um, for snacks. Uh, it was just perfect, like being on a cruise, but somewhat better. Uh, the people were great. All of our friends uh, made good new friends, old friends. Um, everything on the boat was absolutely perfect. Hello, my name is Milton Hanbury. I, Karen and I have been fortunate to have uh, traveled over the years many places uh, and some vessels like this similar in the Amazon, but none uh, has an equivalent of the Zoltan and its crew and its staff and its fishing and its boats and it's, it's fantastic. It's a level of service that no one can compare. I think everybody should experience something like this in the Amazon. You know, my father-in-law invited me on this wonderful trip, and I said, why not take an amazing experience trip to the Amazon, um, the Rio Negro River, actually, not, you know, the Amazon Basin. But uh, got here, the boat was, I mean, exceeded expectations. We uh, couldn't have asked for a better, you know, mothership to be on all week. And then uh, first day of fishing, caught a couple fish, was slow, you know. But the second day is when Rick here, um, almost broke the world record for the largest tri bar. And then uh, caught a few more nice fish that day. And then uh, our third day of fishing, I guess, is when I caught the potential um, butterfly world record. We're sending it off, so hopefully it comes back. And then, you know, that was three days that I fished with Radio and Rick. And then the fourth day, I fished with my father in law and. Uh, we, I, him and Gato, and that's when I caught my 20 pounder, you know, on a sandbar. Fish just a lot of the sandbars, you know, and we finally caught the big fish. But, uh, you know, the Zoltan is definitely a destination to come visit. We miss more than we caught. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do a lot of sail fishing in Costa Rica and uh, Savannah, where we're from. And uh, this is a whole different ball game. You got a little learning curve here yeah. to do, you know, and that was why we had struggled the first day a little bit, but we caught on and uh, had much better time the last five days. Uh, it, uh, I've, I've peacock bass fish in Venezuela and in Suriname, and uh, this is much, much better. Much better. I'm Vic Turner and I'm from Savannah, Georgia and came down here with my brother Bob to the Amazon. I didn't really know what to expect. I've never fished like this. Um, it was very amazing. I do a lot of trout and redfish back home in Georgia in salt water. Um, this was <laughs> truly an experience. Um, big, big peacock bass. The guy, these guys are amazing. Um, they showed us everything, waited on us hand and foot. We didn't have to pick up anything. We didn't have to do anything so from the moment we left the airport Mark and his crew took care of us um, the ship here is, is something else the food is great and the thing that really I noticed everybody's just super friendly you know I don't know about much more I can add to that um, uh, it's been a great trip probably the um, uh, Mark and his staff have, have made an amazing time Mark does a great job he, I don't know when he sleeps because he's up when we get up and he's up when we go to bed and he's making sure that with all this going on in the boat, whatever little thing you need, he's there to help you. And the rest of the staff, uh, Fabrizio, our bartender, and, and John and people downstairs and just did an amazing job. Uh, my brother said a lot about the fishing. Um, 
I will say I learned that if I don't ever see another woodchopper lure for a while, I'll be a happy man. <laughs> so uh, there's a lure called a woodcutter, woodchopper, and it's got a propeller on the back with blades on it, not just a propeller. So when you pull it, it pulls against you, and you got to chop that thing all day long. So when you watch their video on YouTube and you see them doing it, it, it it's a wrist workout. You, so do some, uh, go to the gym and do some practice before you come. Uh, but it brings up some big fish. Actually, whether you do that or not, because I'm telling you, even just pitching the, the I pitched a, like a Zara Spook most of the week, and my wrist, my, my knuckle here, my knuckles across here, and it was just, but it was awesome. We tell a lot of big fish. Yeah. Uh, I was just thinking about the fishing. What I was thinking about was that if I could catch a bass, uh, 10 pounds, that was really going to be something. And 10 pounds doesn't even get started down here. So the first of anything that I caught was about five, and then the next is 16, and then above and beyond the call, along comes a 21 pounder. And that was pretty, uh, that was pretty spectacular. I also didn't know about the different kinds of fish. Just a great, just a great week, great week. What do you think? Oh, it was so much, I didn't know what to expect actually, but it was just so much more than I expected. The beauty of the place, the service on the boat, the, the people in the community, um, the beautiful um, uh, sand dunes were such a surprise. Dinner on a sand dune, that's pretty spectacular. Yeah. Just a great, just a great experience. Yeah, very relaxing. Love the it. other part of picture forgot to mention was we came down with some good friends that uh, I've hunted and fished with around the world. And we met another 10 couples that, uh, that became just as close as somebody that I've hunted with for 15 years. Just a great, great group of people. Yeah, Loved really every good. minute of it. And we thought, well, we won't get a visa because we ended up not needing a visa because uh, we won't be back anyway. And then we get here and go, we need our visa. For sure. Yeah, because sure. we'd love to come back. It, what an exceptional experience. And we, we've traveled a lot of places and I would put this at the top. The boat itself, uh, as I said earlier, has a level of comfort that you don't see on a lot of other vessels. They have a fantastic bar with every kind of alcohol you'd like. They've got a wonderful deck area where you can see almost 360 degrees. The, uh, the restaurant down below has an air conditioned area, or you could eat up top where you got fresh breeze. The room is plenty big enough. You have uh, you can have your bed separate or twin, or you can have a queen bed. Uh, plenty of room. Uh, again, air conditioned, hot water. Uh, I don't know what else you could ask for on a vessel like this. Uh, it, this, this isn't roughing it by any stretch of imagination. In fact, it's like, it's really literally a floating hotel. It seriously is a floating hotel. A five star it, hotel. And it's, yes, five star. Exactly. Mm -hmm.